Oh shit! Layla, you need a refill on Cyclosporin. Stat. Layla! Wakey, wakey! <sighs> Don't make me come down there. Layla? Layla! <coughs> come on back. Layla, are you with me? Hepipti. I told you not to call me that. Thing is, the fastest way to get your attention is to piss you off. I'm paying attention. Okay, you need to take a break. The Animus is rejecting you. Ugh, I'm fine. Yes, but your kidneys aren't. Go add more cyclosporin before they shut down. Yes, Nurse Geary. That's Medical Officer Geary to you. So? How did it go? My mods are holding. Subject's memories are perfectly clear. If this doesn't convince Abstergo to give me a place on the Animus Project, nothing will. Oh, amazing! Who do you have in there? His name is Bayek of Siwa. The death of his son turned him into a killer. Think you'd be of interest to Abstergo? Don't start. You know, they're not gonna be happy with how he handled this assignment. They know I don't work by the book. Well, this time you lit the book on fire and then stomped on it. <sighs> anyway, none of this will matter if you're comatose. Now go get that cyclosporin. <sighs>
So long, and thanks for all the fish, Berkeley. March 21st, 2006. The day Leila Hassan drops out of college. That's right, Professor Moore. I'm not finishing that Jane Eyre paper. I got a job, and I'm headed to Philly next week. This whole classroom thing, it's not for me. Mom and Dad are freaking out, but they'll accept it. I'll be working towards something real, making real money, and I'll be closer to home. Not that I'll visit any more often. Sophia promised there would always be a place for me at Absurgo, as long as I show them what I can do with a circuit board and a pair of pliers. Sure, I'll have to work my way up to a place on her special project, but that doesn't matter. It won't be long before she or her father, Mr. Alan Rickin, notices what I'm capable of and asks for my help on the Animus. I swear, I get more done reading the latest copy of Wired on the toilet than the rest of the guys do all day in the lab. I mean, the body band? Really? If people can't take a walk on their own, they aren't going to listen to a watch that tells them to do it either. This is all so pointless. I should just go back to... Wait, that's probably what the body band would tell me to do. What I should do is build something that will simultaneously blow people's minds and the doors off the Animus Project. Nothing at Abstergo Fitness is going to be big enough for that. I'm bored as hell. But there's nothing like boredom to stimulate creativity. Yep, I think the body band needs a little adjustment to its language processing program. The right decision always feels like home. My stuff's the same. My locker smells the same. It's like I never left. But I did. And I can never unlearn what I know now. How will it change my work at the Historical Research Division? 
Hard to say. All I know is that it will. Our Dom booked us a lunch. Nothing fancy. She wanted me to meet Deanna Geary, my new medical officer. She looks like she was born in the middle of a cornfield, but she seems okay. I can't believe she left homemade cookies on my desk. I don't know why I told her about getting stood up last weekend. I never talk about personal stuff at work. At least it seems like I can trust her. You need that to stay alive in the field. Too bad most of Abstergo's tactical units don't consider trust a priority. Aho, the portable animus. No mention in the official credits, but all those emails, all those middle of the night phone calls from Madrid, there's a lot of me in there. Sophia, if I'd known you just wanted to strip mine my brain and leave me in the dark, I never would have followed you. Go away! There's no candy here! Nothing in life is ever free. Ever. The Animus. I can tell. I know it wouldn't have worked without my advice. Just look how they did the heat sink, the VRMs, the high amperage rating by transistor. It was me who told them it would offset failure of the... What's this? Hello there, DNA reader module. Are you ringing my doorbell? Maybe there's some candy here after all. I've come to the conclusion that Sophia is shit at hiring staff. The entire Madrid facility. Ugh. How do they not see it? It would be so easy. You just have to parse the genetic memory input and work from smaller data pools. You could even process incomplete samples and still create a reliable model for high levels of synchronization. The reader module and the decryption software would need an update, but it's doable. Madrid's probably congratulating themselves just for getting this far. Meanwhile, I'm partying with some congealed veggie curry, three plasma screens, a disassembled animus, and Raw Victoria's debut album on loop. Sahete. Dee will be mad when she sees how I use Milton's DNA, but what did she expect when she asked me for help? I needed someone's genetic profile to test the animus, and, well, his was right there. All in the name of science. I like morning briefings. They're short, minimal nonsense, and they have free coffee. No downtime this week. They're putting me and Dee on a plane to Alexandria two days from now. I don't get why Hathaway's in such a rush. We're being deployed to extract an artifact. If it were a person of interest, the push would make more sense. A person could be halfway across the world in a couple of hours. But an artifact that's been sitting around for 2,000 years, it's not going anywhere. An artifact of high interest. Heard that before. It always ends up being some crappy pottery shard or half an old book. My animus runs on DNA, not tableware. It'll be strange visiting Egypt for the first time since 2013. Back then, I went looking for my roots and found trouble instead. It's good that Dee's coming. She always keeps me from doing anything too stupid. Turns out the artifact of high interest is also a person of interest. A mummy. And a golden opportunity. I've informed Dee of some changes I'm making to our assignment parameters. She acted mad, but I know she's eager to see my animus field tested. Abstergo won't mind. Well, they would if they found out, but they won't. <laughs> Hathaway's intel was a disaster. They have no idea what's going on with this extraction. Field tech is fun and all, but that's not why I left Berkeley. If the Animus lets me ride DNA this old, if the reader can model the missing codons and extrapolate the genetic memories that aren't mine, Sophia would lose her Abstergo. Abstergo will come to me on their hands and knees. My name will be right up there with Warren Vidix. Too bad the Madrid facility got blown up. But I bet they'll build a new one soon. This one will be in Philly, and its lead engineer will be Leila Hassan.
One bar. No, half a bar. Got the cyclosporin. Two cc should do it. Don't forget the alcohol wipe. I wish I was there to help. You do a good job looking after me, even from the hotel. And I know how you like your aircon. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. Who are you talking to? Vyak's mummy. Real chatterbox, that one. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. Who are you talking to? Vyak's mummy. Real chatterbox, that one. Damn it, my papers went everywhere. Whoops, anything important? Yeah, the notes on the animus. The genetic sequencer blueprint. Never got the creases out. Here's the blueprint from Adalysis system mod. Could have used a bigger fluid chamber. Could have used a bigger piece of tape over your mouth. Whoa, so aggro. Generators holding up. Good job, Layla. Generators holding up. Good job, Layla. holding up. Good job, Layla.
Abstergo's blueprint for the portable Animus. Still a piece of shit. You sure love polishing it, though. my notes on the gene sequencing code. Are you ever gonna tell Milton that you tested it with his DNA? No, and neither are you. There's more than one way to donate your body to science. shouldn't get too far from the cave. I shouldn't get too far from the cave.
Going back in. This is so badass. Be careful. 